Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of Utopia. Uh, it is rainy. It's actually a break in the rain right now, so I'm gonna head out and try to get everything done really quickly so I don't get poured on, but if I do, such is life. So I was getting Prudy's feed ready and coming out here. And uh, I hear rooster crows all the time, like nonstop. Well, that guy right there started to crow. And it went something like this. <laughs> because he started to crow and another rooster started chasing him. So I look over and it's... And he starts running away from this rooster. It was really funny sounding. I wish I could have had you guys there with me, but... Take my word for it, it was really funny. So there's what we ended up with with milk. This bucket was uh, more full, but the chickens drank some. So pretty good production, probably three and a half gallons. Anyway, I'm gonna go feed those guys. They know that their milk is coming. And then uh, we're gonna go load up the kids and head to basketball. Well, we are on our way to basketball. The three oldest have basketball. The three youngest are going to come with me. We have a delivery to make and I need to run to Home Depot to return a, uh, a blind that I didn't get long enough and that light ballast. And then I'll probably buy a new light ballast. Um, so we're off. Uh, it's kind of a miserable dreary day. Uh, when you don't have a whole lot of time to eat breakfast in the morning, Breakfast of Champions. It may not be making juice like Daniel Arms, but it's the best I can do right now. So, we're off. We just left. Where did we just leave? What? Where did we just leave? I don't know. Where did we just leave? I don't know. No, what store were we just in? Oh, um, Home Depot. Home Depot, right? We got everything we needed, Home I think. And we got this some the little girl, stuff. that little baby girl right there, has been pulling outlet covers out. Hey, so I got a stuff. cover that should hopefully help. But I might just need to replace Daddy, some of the outlets with those automatic baby them. ones. What, what can't you show them? I'm not it. Oh, not right now. We'll hold on a little. Do you want some paper to draw, and then we can show them your drawing? Okay, we're off to the next Cheerio place, which is, I'm not sure yet. That's recycling, not garbage. That's garbage, not recycling. Here's Aqua Boy, Aquaman. Aquaman, organizing the pantry, getting all the stuff that we took on the trip for snacks, put away in there. He thrives at stuff like this. You love organizing, don't you? He takes after his papa. His papa loves organizing. Okay, so this is the window this is gonna go in. You can see I've put on the end caps. There's an end cap here and an end cap here, which is kind of hard to see because the light shines through it so well. Uh, in order to put these in, you just put these brackets up. I already have holes in the, um, in the top plate here because um, these are the old brackets that, for the old one. They're a little bit too big for this new style. This one goes in, just takes one screw. Uh, if you guys are looking for a screwdriver, a good screwdriver, 
man, I have been really happy with this. It's called the, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, Mega Pro Original. Um, it's got all of these heads in it. Oh, you got the one there. Um, I've been really, really happy with it. It spins nicely in the hand. It's got enough knurled grip so that when you've got a glove on, um, you can get a good grip with it. It's got the, um, you can see that on here, but you can get a uh, ratchet on it. And uh, I beat my stuff up, and this is still working strong. So if you need one, I love. I'll put a link in the description below. It's not real expensive, but um, and I think they might have a pretty good warranty. Even better, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Right here, if I get in the way here, can you see it? Right there, right there. I don't know if you can see it. It says made in the USA. So that's the best part yet. Um, now I've got to remember which way to put it. It goes like this. Screw goes here. Use the same hole that we had. Get it started. And then these are a little bit longer screws than I probably need, but they were the ones that I had for the other ones. And I know they fit these holes well, so I'm just gonna use that. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Let me get this lined up straight, tighten it down, and that's what it looks like. Right there. There's one done. Put the other one right here, and we'll be done. So these are, it's just the Home Collectors brand from Home Depot. I don't know if you can see. On this side, there's a hook. That's the front part. The back, there's not a hook. So what you do is you just take these up here. You hook that front end on there like that. And then you just push the back end up and into the clip like so. And viola, you've got room darkening blinds. So what do you guys think? It looks pretty good, right? What's that? Oh, hold on a second. There you go. See? They really do block out the light. Homestead or Aqua, man, I'm gonna have to get used to this. Aquaman is uh, putting the light bulbs in this new ballast I got. And then uh, once we get the other one from Amazon, we will be all set. I had to buy another package of bulbs because this ballast right here is going to use up the last of the bulbs that we had. So, like I said, you just put those in there and turn it 90 degrees and you're good to go. So, we have this hung. I'm gonna need to grab some smaller S-hooks because for whatever reason, the ones that I have don't fit in this chain like they did in that chain. But you can see I've got it plugged in from here to here. Just pull this light. There we go, we got two lights. Obviously, that um, is gonna be moved when I put more seeds down there. But for now, we're good with lights. We'll get the other light coming in here. We'll have three shelves ready to go, and life will be good. We haven't had any other problems with uh, birds getting eaten. Um, those ducks, the magpies, they hang out and they range far away and they don't always sleep right next to the coop. No problems with them. Uh, I, have, I feel like, the white pecans are our least intelligent birds. They're the slowest birds. So if anything is going to get eaten, it's going to be them. I don't know if a hawk came down, got the bird, you know, ripped its head off, kind of put a gouge in its back, and then couldn't carry it off and left. Um, but so far, nothing else has gotten eaten. Knock on wood. And uh, hope that that remains the case. In the meantime, I have to refill this with DEF, uh, diesel exhaust fluid, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that is that. Um, there's no gauge on there, on the car, to show me how much diesel exhaust fluid is in it. It just pops up a message when it's low and says, put in more diesel exhaust fluid, which is probably one of my gripes with that vehicle. The biggest gripe with that vehicle is the key fobs, the remote open, is awful. It's the worst thing ever. Come on, Mercedes, get on that. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of the vlog, and it feels like winter. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's in the 20s. A little breeze makes it pretty chilly, but such is life. What are you gonna do, right? 
I'm gonna change into my milking clothes and head out. You can see some of the ducks are right here. Some of them are over there on our property line. I don't know what those magpies do. They're uh, they're funny ones, those magpies. But anyway, I'm gonna go milk. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so just had a meeting with uh, one of my fellow coaches for our homeschool league. We're gonna be putting on a shooting clinic in this next week. And we wanted to make sure that we had uh, all of the drills and exactly how, you know, how we wanted to teach this down. The good news is both he and I uh, have the same philosophy on shooting. So that makes it pretty easy. Stopped at uh, the grocery store on the way home from this meeting. Man, I did not realize how deep of pockets the Easter Bunny had. Those chocolate covered peanut butter, egg shaped candies and all the other stuff are really expensive. Man, the Easter Bunny's loaded. So some of my plans for the spring are, I want to actually throw some plastic over these and make them mini hoop houses. I need to grab some PVC, or I've actually thought about using a uh, conduit. I've got a conduit bender, and the conduit that would obviously last significantly longer. So I could probably get away with maybe making three bents. I've just got to figure out how big to make them and the angle at which I need to bend them. Uh, you can see, I think these are, um, these chives that are coming out here oh these are onions really they're onions i guess they've got onions in here that i didn't know about oh yeah i've got like three little stands of onions here let me turn around and show you you can see the onions there i've got little onions there and there and there there's lots of also dead tomatoes on the ground so i'm gonna have to clean all this out and then uh figure out planting in here maybe plant some lettuce some broccoli same thing with this one and then uh, I need to fence this one back off the chickens have actually gotten in here and cleaned this all out for me so now I need to fence it back off you can see they just took everything there down to the bone so here's the marsh in the spring you can see all the open water guys I would love to possibly over in this direction make like a little dock that gets out to the open water so I could take a kayak or a small boat or something and uh, get a better look to see how deep it is. Dad, can we go over by them? Um... We'll see. Um, you can hear the geese. There's lots of geese out here. I don't hunt geese normally. But, um, man, it's a nice day. It's probably 40 degrees. Up by the house, it's a little bit windier. Down here, where it's dropped down and there's the woods to protect us, there's hardly a breath of breeze at all. So let's see if we can get over closer there for you guys. So you can see... If we could get to right there, they'd be pretty open. Now, it might only be a few inches deep there, but I think it's probably a little bit more than that. Like right over in here next to this tree, it's probably three or four inches deep. But out there, it's got to be at least a little bit deeper. So Daddy. we'll see. Maybe later this spring when it warms up a little bit, I'll try to push a kayak out there and see how far I can get out. But it would be nice. Maybe just start piling up some dirt right here so I can make a little oh, land bridge out to there. Bone? Sure, do you have it? Yeah, I just it right here. We found a deer bone while we were walking, so he wants to show you. Just found it on the path. It's broken, so I don't know what happened. But we're going to keep walking. A couple of years ago, I think we had some extra spruce trees. I think these are Norway spruces that we needed to plant someplace. So my dad planted a line of them along here. You can see one of the deer rubbed along there and rubbed it down to the core, but the tree still seems to be doing fine. It's probably to the top there, you know, 10 and a half feet tall. So these will be nice when they grow up. It'll create another kind of block for the deer to hide through. I'll probably come down this spring if I can find time. And at one point, this whole area right here, we'd brushed out. Um, just to kind of create like a little meadow back in the woods. I'll probably do the same thing. Some of the stuff here has grown big enough now where 
I may have to chainsaw it off down at the bottom and then bring a, a mower through, but let's see if we can just keep cutting it off and and uh, making this back to more of a pasture. I mean, I, at some point I had thought, you know, maybe put a gazebo down here because, you know, the view is great. You hear the peepers, you hear the um, geese, the ducks. It's really, really peaceful back here. It's really nice. So maybe. Well, the seed starts are still still doing well. Actually seem to be doing really well. Um, and this came in the mail today. The other shop light, so fluorescent shop light. So I'll put that together and that'll go up here. It's starting to come together. So guys, I think it turned out to be a much nicer day than I thought it was going to be today. Um, it may have only gotten up to 40 or the mid 40s, but it is just like gorgeous out. When we went for that walk around the property, just beautiful. You can see ducks are having fun in their puddles. Life is good. Um, Probably just gonna hang out, watch some movies as a family, and uh, yeah, just enjoy each other's company. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it very much, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See, the sun's not even, not even really going down that much now, but it's just gorgeous out. See you guys.